It's me, Tyler M6357, and we got a Captain Kirk! Ah! So if you guys were watching the Sunday Night Football game yesterday, you guys would have seen the Redskins defeat the Green Bay Packers, and obviously, Captain fucking Kirk got himself a Team of the Week card. If you guys don't know, I don't know, I have some gay love for Kirk Cousins, because I don't know, Captain Kirk, don't worry about it. So today, we, for our offensive up here is Captain Kirk. A.K. Kirk Cousins, and Jason Pierre-Paul for his, I don't know what he did, but he had a couple sacks. But Kirk Cousins had, I think he had three touchdowns, I think 385 yards, something like that. And I'll show you guys the cards that go in here. They Again, they go into both sets. We have a Julian Edelman right here from the Patriots, Stephen Gilmore from the Bills, Robert Kelly from the Redskins, and, and then Dequel Jackson. Honestly, I think Robert Kelly had the best game out of all these guys. But he had three touchdowns, 131 rushing yard. It was crazy. Robert Kelly's turned into one of my new... I don't know. I like the Redskins. I don't know. I like the Bills a little more. But, yeah. So, um, all right. So, right here, the Julian Edelman right here. Pretty, he had a... Um, pretty sure he had a touchdown in the game. I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, Tom Brady and the Patriots defeated the San Francisco 49ers 31-217. And here are the Julian Edelman stats right here. We, he has 87 speed. He has got 91 catching, 87 elusiveness, 84 spec catch, 80, 90, oh my gosh, 83 release. I'm sorry about that, guys. 92 route running, 89 catching traffic, and 83 jumping. Pretty good for me. He also has the slot expert chemistry style. And right here with the pick specialist chem styles, we have the Stefan Gilmore, who is probably the best card out of the, the set of elite cards here. He's 6'1", 91 speed, 92 acceleration, 88 agility, 90 man coverage, 88 zone coverage, 89 press, 85 play rec, and, 70 <coughs> and 73 catching. So, yeah, also, guys, fantasy update. I am slowly and slowly just getting murdered in fantasy. I mean, A.J. Green just went down for potentially the rest of the season, but I don't think that's going to happen. And I just saw Andrew Luck just suffered a concussion. So I'm, I'm screwed. I'm 7-3-1 now. I just won last week miraculously. But I just wanted to update you guys on fantasy. But I did clinch a playoff spot, so that's good. So we all have two weeks to recover. I can lose these next two and be okay. I don't care what seed I get. But, you know, I'm just so mad I did Green got hurt. But whatever. Shit happens. But we have Robert Kelly right here. He had three. Oh, man, a beast game. 87 speed. A little slow. He, should, he seemed a little faster in the game, to be honest. 88 agility. 91 acceleration. 92 carrying. He's not going to fumble for you. 89 ball carry vision. 81 elusiveness. 92 trucking. And 88 juke move. He's also got the... Uh, what is it? Uh, BB, what is that? Mmm... And Quell Jackson here for the Colts. He's the cheapest, obviously. He's probably only got 81 speed. He's got 80 speed. He's six foot, 80 speed, 91 acceler 91 acceleration, 91 awareness, 93 tackling, 91 play rec, 81 block shed, 90 pursuit, 79 zone coverage, and 88 hit power. I mean, a decent little card, but nothing that you guys should use. And obviously, the same for the JPP. The upgrade set, we have cards such as Jared Hargrave. I don't know how. I mean, he, I think he had that touch. He did have the touchdown. The defensive touchdown against the Browns. Mm. Rashard Jennings went off. Might even pick him up in fantasy with the battle-ready battle ready chemistry. Devontae Parker probably had his first good game of the year. He had, like, eight receptions, a touchdown, I think 100-something receiving yards. And Raphael Bush, I don't really know what he did. But. I'll show you guys these two cards right now and the limited edition card also as you guys see in the video. It'll be a longer video here. We're going to have a nice little Thanksgiving promo rant. So hopefully you guys are strapping in here for this longer episode. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and I'll show you these cards right now. Right here we have the JPP here for the Giants. He's got the jump to snap chemistry and a pass rusher chemistry. 91 overall. He's 6'5", big boy, 83 speed, 88 strength, 87 acceleration, 94 tackling, 85 block shed, 71 power moves, 93 finesse moves, and 90 play rec. The Giants are second now in the NFC East. And the NFC East is a very star-studded division right now. I don't know who's going to win it. Probably the Cowboys, to be honest. But 
if I say anyone else, I'd probably like the Giants today. Or I, no, I want the Redskins to win. What do I say? I want the Redskins to win that division because of Captain Kirk right here with the chain mover and deep threat chemistries. He's 6'3". He's got 78 speed, so he can scamper a little bit. 92 awareness, 90 throw power. That's good, decent enough. 92 throw short, 92 throw mid, 89 throw deep, 93 play action, and 87 throw on the run. This is a pretty good – I'm going to call him a pocket passer. Yeah, he's a pocket passer. This is probably the best pocket – one of the best pocket passers in the game right now. You know, obviously like the Aaron Rodgers or like, you know. But I don't know. I, I'm a Captain Kirk fan. And we cannot forget about the limited edition card for this week with his 100 – Yard pick six against the Arizona Cardinals, and it's Xavier Rhodes. Xavier Rhodes, he's 93 overall. He's got the Minnesota defense and times two to pick specialist. That is big. And this is a guy I'll be picking up later in the year. He's 6'1", 92 speed, 93 acceleration, 92 agility, 89 man coverage, 91 zone coverage, 94 press, 86 cleric, and 75 catching. This dude is fast. He is very, very fast. Like, oh, man. So that concludes the Team of the Week portion of this video. Now on to the Thanksgiving rants. So we're going to be going over here. Also, guys, apologize for my nasally voice. I have a little bit of, a little bit of sniffles. But shush. All right. So right here, the ultimate feat, right? You did the solos, obviously, and I've already done to get the food for the day. But that's the problem, right? There's, they've only add, they only added 12 solos for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the second, maybe third, yeah, no, yeah, third. I think Easter, honestly, is bigger. But, you know, second biggest promo of the year. And they're giving us 12 solos. Hopefully, like most fear, there's like 84 solos. There's 100,000 coins that be had. It was great. Everyone loved, I love most feared. Everyone else loved most feared. Right now, I'm not really loving Thanksgiving because they've only, they've given, they haven't done much. Like, they've put something in the first day, and they've got some nice cars, but that's it. And they're not even that accessible. I mean, the 12 solos, a couple more solos, like, wouldn't hurt. And obviously, you can get food every day from this, but you basically either have to buy packs, which gives you four food items a pack, but that's, like, eight bucks. I'm not doing that. Or you can play head-to-head. -head. I don't think draft is, but, I mean, now I'm going to have to grind head-to-head, -head, like, the three days before we have till Thanksgiving. Granted, there's only one more day of school this week, thank God. But, yeah, I'm going to have to grind to get head-to-head, because -head, I have myself the Ryan Shazier that um if he gets eight tackles he'll get go up to 92 overall but the problem is i, I don't have enough food i want to sell him right now for like 170 right now that'd be perfect because there's no guarantee like right here see i got the ryan chase here i think he'll get eight tackles but but even if he goes up to a 92 mike singletary is a 92 overall he's going for like 70 80k so why would the chase here i know Shazier's going for like 170 right now but that's because it's during the promo i don't know is chase really going to jump up in price i mean people might want chase here an all-time ohio state team which i'll be doing in the future guys once ohio state gets a damn quarterback in this game but i mean i still need how many food 16 food items i mean how am i going to get I gotta play a lot of games. I preach. I don't know how many games that would be. I gotta buy at least four packs, and that is thirty-two dollars. No, roughly thirty-two, thirty-five. I'm not doing that just to get the shades here. It's not worth it. Hopefully, they come out with a couple more solos or another set of objectives. Like the objectives was great. I don't know why they did it. Like, add more? Like, I don't know why they don't do them daily. Like, most feared. Why was most feared so much better? Why are they slacking with this? They're making you buy packs. Obviously, they're making you grind and play head to head. But, I mean, I got school. I mean, I can't do it all the time. Granted, I can do it tomorrow. But still, not everyone has time to play, like, 20, 25 head to head games in a couple days. I mean, some people do, but not everyone. So, that's just my little rant on the Thanksgiving promo. I mean, the cards are nice, but it's not. Right now, it's giving me, like, a 6, 7. Because I thought, like, it was so easy to get the challenge. I'm like, all right, I thought you put, like, any items in. Like, you put players in this set. But now it's just food items, and you can't get food items unless you open those packs, I'm pretty sure. And that's just, I don't know how I feel about that. And uh, also, that's the end of that Thanksgiving rant. But also, I've also been, if you guys know XRyan915, who's one of my favorite Madden uh, YouTubers. I've been watching him since Madden 12, him and the London RTR. If you guys know who they are, put that down in the comments below. But he was opening gold player packs, and so is Kane Assey, 3890. I'm sure a lot of you Twitch people know who he is already. But they've been opening these like the gold player packs. I opened one yesterday. I pulled myself a Geno Atkins. If you guys want to see like a mass, if you guys like to see a mass gold player pack opening where you put like five gold badges in, you get seven or gold or better players. Let me know. I can make a video on that, and you guys can watch for your enjoyment. Also, I'll be streaming tomorrow, Tuesday. 
say that the 22nd Tuesday November 22nd uh, with we're going to be doing a Thanksgiving tournament and the details will be tomorrow doesn't mean we're doing it on Thanksgiving we're going to be doing it on November 23rd that Wednesday that's when we'll be doing the tournament it'll be a 16 man tournament 20k buy in the ma the lot the pot will be you know 320k and it splits 75% to the winner, 25% to second place. So hopefully you guys are at the stream and you apply for the tournament and we'll do a big tournament. It'll be fun. It'll be great. Make sure you guys are there. My Twitch will be in the description below. And yeah, that'll conclude the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow my Twitch. This has been Tyler of 6357 signing off saying see you tomorrow, guys. Later.